hi guys welcome back to another video on doing it daily and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my top six lessons that i've learned in becoming a first-time mom so let's get into it Becoming a new mom can be nerve-wracking for any woman. It doesn't matter how old you are or how put together you think your life is, a baby can come and do a whole new 360 degree turn in your space and that's okay because having your first baby is a new experience and new experiences often come with a lot of anxiety, worry, fear and frustration. This video is for all my first time moms out there. So lesson number one, protect your space. And I say this with every ounce of seriousness there is in the world. Protect your space. Now, a lot of people, including family and friends, especially the ones without children, they're gonna wanna give you advice. And it's very important that you sift the information that is being given to you. Why? Because their experience is not your experience. Mind you, some advice is good advice. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes it can become very overwhelming for you as a mom when you're hearing all of this information and you feel so pressured to try everything and sometimes it ends up even contributing to your feelings of fear, anxiety, worry and stress and all of this ends up being passed on to the baby and that's not good so it's very important that you learn to protect your space lesson number two there's absolutely no manual or one way to do things don't be too hard on yourself i mean at the end of the day it's your kid so even if you mess up the first time you have an entire lifetime to keep trying until you get it right. Motherhood never gets easier in my opinion. I think you just learn to handle it a lot better. So it's very important that you try to enjoy the journey in each stage and each season of the child's life because trust me, they really do grow pretty fast. Lesson number three, mom shaming. Now, I used to be that person in public where I would hear a crying baby or a toddler and side-eye the mom thinking at what point is she going to quiet her child down. But being on the same side of the fence, I have a greater understanding in situations like this. So instead of side-eyeing the mom, it's like I have this urge to assist her. So if it's a case where the baby's fussing and she's fumbling to try to get her stuff together to take the baby outside, I would actually want to assist her so that she can get to move to the car quickly instead of side eyeing her because at the end of the day, it's already an embarrassing situation for the mom. So you really don't want to add it, add to it by staring at her. She already knows that her child is loud. Lesson number four take care of yourself now we've all heard the saying that you can't pour from an empty cup right well this is a hundred percent true and this tip is not only for first-time moms but for moms in general we just have this tendency to put everybody else before us especially our babies and we don't focus on our mental physical or emotional needs so for example in my situation when my toddler is gone to bed and i have the rest of the night what i would end up doing is like preparing her meals and her snacks and her activities for the next day and then by the time i'm done it's time for me to go to bed so what i start doing now is that i try to do all of that while she's awake so that when i actually put her down for bed i can actually do something for me so if it's a face mask or watching YouTube videos or just having a long shower, I just end up wanting to do something for me. And it feels so good because at the end of the day, 
as I said, you can't pour from an empty cup. So you see from you're okay, you're feeling 100%, that energy, that vibe starts to pour out into the household. It starts to pour out into your child and your husband or your spouse. It works and it's definitely worth it. I definitely learned this lesson. Lesson number five, don't be afraid to ask for help. I know it's pretty self-explanatory but do not take this lesson for granted because I had to learn this the hard way because I continued doing stuff around the house as if everything was business as usual and one day I broke I completely broke and had to face the reality that hey I needed help and help can be in the form of a nanny or a helper somebody to who can actually make a difference in your in your daily progress it's the best decision it's one of the best decisions that i think i actually made because in just admitting that i needed the help you know because the help is just different when it's a good kind of help coming from somebody who you trust you know a lot of prayer went into this area and god has definitely blessed us in ways that we can't even imagine so it's very important that you admit that you need the help when you need the help you know because you don't need anybody coming over to tell you how cute your baby is and then whenever your baby starts to cry they pass the baby back on to you for you to quiet the baby the kind of help that you need is somebody to fold the laundry or actually do the laundry to prepare meals to wipe the floor to take care of the baby while you actually get to feel for like five or ten minutes feel what it's like to not be a mom and to just rest and to have some time to you that kind of help makes a world of a difference so do not be afraid to admit that you need the help when you need the help because coming from me if you don't admit it and you just try to move around as business as usual mind you some moms they have no issue doing that but for me my personal experience i literally broke down when i realized that hey i can't do this anymore that was a reality that i had to face lesson number six being less judgmental becoming a mom has definitely humbled me in a way that i never saw coming i mean it's not the biggest effect but it presents itself in the smallest way and when i say less judgmental i don't mean only towards other moms but just people in general you know you just try to have a bit more grace towards them i'm not really sure what causes it but i'm kind of happy it happened so when you're about to comment on another parent uh, as it relates to their child or children if it's not constructive advice or a constructive recommendation something that has absolutely no judgment it's best you don't say anything because that parent knows what's best for their child and just because it worked for you doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work for them a good friend told me that every family dynamic is different so let's just try not to be so hard on each other as moms especially the seasoned moms out there don't be so hard on us new moms because we're trying to figure it out just like how you had to try to figure it out to be where you are so let's just try to support each other as much as we can anywho thanks for watching guys i really hope to enjoy this video and i hope if you're a first time mom, you can actually take my lessons into consideration. Maybe they can help you one way or the other. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section what lessons you have learned while on this beautiful journey of motherhood. All right, so I'd love to hear from you guys. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.